Hey there viewers, this is one of the Pixel of Game Over here, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Kaizo Mario 64 by Omega Edge. In the last segment, we were able to successfully complete some of the harder stars in Womp's Fortress, namely to the top of the fortress and red coins on the fortress. In this segment, we're going to finish off the level with all the easier stars that are left. Then we're going into the Secret Aquarium, and if we have time, we'll finish off some of the stars in the next level. So that gives us a goal of anywhere from, like, 20 to 24 stars, why not? Alright, uh, before we collect the regular stars, I'm gonna try and collect the 100 coin star, and I'm going to have to do that on star 3, shoot into wild blue, because that's, uh, I looked it up, that's the only star that the bomb buddy will appear on for some reason. We don't really need the cannon open at any point, it's just I can't go with it not being open. Alright. Now to the top of the fortress. It is on the island like I had remembered, it's just... it will only appear on Star 3 for some reason. I mean, it's not like having the cannon open is a huge advantage, I'm not sure why it wouldn't appear on Star 4, and I'm not sure why I can't make this easy jump this time. Alright, there we go, finally. Long jump of faith. Success. I could knock the bridge down, but why would I do that? Respond. There we go. Okay. Cannon slowly opens with a bit of lag going on. And where are we? I'm, yeah, I'll have to jump this way. The first coin I'm going to get, honestly, is that one insanely hard red coin. I'm realizing we never got it the intended way, and I want to just prove that I can. And you'll see why we didn't get it the intended way. Alright, uh, the first thing we need to do is just jump onto this one trembling bridge. From here, with good timing, land on this. It takes about 13 seconds to fill a full rotation. And you need good timing to get this star, or this coin. Once this flamethrower dies down, you can safely jump onto this one. And here you get to do the exact same thing. Although we need, like, better timing here. So let's just wait for another rotation. Like, it can, you can, sometimes if your timing is bad enough to land on it, it can take you like three or four full rotations just to get a good shot at the next part. Although this doesn't seem to be the case here. It's a really hard star to get without save, a uh, hard coin to get without save states if you're planning on getting it the intended way. So that's why we got it that other way, which was equally hard, but, I don't know, less annoying, I guess. Uh, now what we're gonna go for are these blue coins up here. Since there are 112 coins in the level, we can only miss three blue coins. If we miss three, then we can't get the star. Apparently I didn't land on that switch. And compared to some of the later levels, especially Cool Cool Mountain, these coins are actually really easy to get. Yeah, nothing too difficult. In fact, nothing difficult at all. Alright, 57 of 100, we passed the halfway point long ago. I guess now's a good time as ever to say it. I, I looked it up earlier. Um, it's not Tower of the Wing Cap. He changed, uh, Omega Edge changed the name of it to, what was it? Red Switch Tower, I think. I'm not sure. I guess the other two are probably called, like, Blue Switch Hole in the Moat and Green Switch Cavern be hidden behind the waterfall. I don't see why he changes the name of such arbitrarily unnecessary things. I also don't see why that uh, giant Goomba is there. There's well over 100 star coins in the level, you don't need those five, necessarily. And he makes the level too easy. For, since you're expected to be using save space, you definitely shouldn't need him. Alright, uh, 85. I'm not sure how many red coins we actually need to beat this one. There's a, I think there might be exactly 112 coins in the level. If that's so, then that means we can skip six red coins, but one of those 112 coins is uh, the one marking the cannon at the end of the Butter Bridge, so we're not getting that one. So we can skip five red coins then, if that's so. Uh, we already got that insanely hard one, we got that other one uh, at the start of the level, so we only really need one more, I guess. And I'm gonna get the one in the Caged Island, because it's, uh, I want our star to appear there. Yep, 94. There should be five coins here. We only need one more coin, and it has to be a red coin. So, to the caged island.
Why did I jump there? I knew I couldn't make it. Alright, five minutes in, we've almost gotten a star, so be patient, we're doing it now. Ah, oh, come on, Mario. You are going slow. You are slower than molasses. Yes, that is the best I could come up with. Don't patronize me. Alright. Now let's hope we can make this jump. Again, they give you, like, just enough distance to do it. And we made it. An interesting land, but nonetheless a successful land. As a flattened Mario goes for the star. Alright, save. Now, uh, we just need to get started to get out of this level, and I guess I'll get shooting for Wild Blue with the cannon. Because it's been so long since I've done that. Even on the original Super Mario 64, I never do that anymore. Because who needs a cannon to get that? That was poor placement of a star. Although, when I first played Super Mario 64, it took me so long to get it. Hello, floating star up there, we'll get to you soon enough. Spoiler alert. I mean, I, I found shooting to the cage, falling to the caged island, and I thought that's how we were supposed to get shooting to Wild Blue, so I spent so long trying for that one. And then I finally got it with the cannon, and I realized it wasn't even the right star. Like, shoot, ugh. shooting to Wild Blue took me so long to get when I first played this game, because I didn't know where to go to find it. I also don't know how high to shoot here-ish. Okay, we got it the intended way, so that's good enough for me. Alright, we've got a 101 coin record, not bad. I think we got 112 in the bomb battlefield. I remember that check. Uh, sorry, chain jump battlefield, whose name falls out of a text box, by the way. Yeah, 112. Alright, uh, next star, star 5, the tower secret door. Even if you don't know uh, about where the tower secret door is, this is an easy star to get. I mean, they give you a definite location. You've got to go to the tower secret door. So you've got to go to the tower, obviously. So to the tower. You're going to be looking around for a secret door. So as you're scanning the tower, you're obviously going to find this indent here. And there's a star. And I'm pretty sure that that indent is pushed in further than it was in the original Super Mario 64. Like, I don't think there was an indent at all in the original Super Mario 64. I think it lined up perfectly with the side of a wall. So he might have actually made it easier. Right, blast away the wall. Good thing we unlocked the cannon, right? Well, we don't need that cannon for this. We never need the cannon in this level. Unless you count those cannons, the sky cannons, at the end of a butter bridge. Speaking of which, we need those for this star. So yes, we have to climb the butter bridge again. Fortunately, this is the last time, and we don't actually need to get to the top of the fortress, just to the sky cannons. Like, as the... Ah, why can I not make this jump now? This is not a good sign. Okay, that's an annoyance. And that is even more of one. Ah, let's try this once more. Finally, success. I'm wondering if we can actually see it from here. Probably not, it's probably past the draw distance. Okay, uh, so we've got to blast away the wall. We saw it at the very end of the 100 coin collection there. Okay, I cannot believe I just did that. Let's try this again. Alright, we're gonna do it this way now. And make it on our first try. Excellent. Uh, we probably might be able to see it from the top of the fortress, the top of the tower here, but I don't care. We'll see it soon enough. We just get to the end of the Butter Bridge, hopefully successfully. Or that could happen, you know, that's also an option. Can I just shoot to the top of the fortress? Can I save time doing that? Yeah, so there's the star. Way, way out of reach. Oh wow, I almost made it. I don't believe it. I cannot believe that just happened to me. And I forgot to wait for the elevator to go down, of course. And now we need to wait for it to go up again. Okay, patience is not my strong suit. Alright, attempt two to climb the butter bridge. Hopefully this one will be a success. All you need to do is keep moving. 
pipe somehow we salvaged that fall there. Uh, we're near the end, Mario, just make it. Success. And land in the sky cannon, excellent. Now, I'm, the flagpoles up here have been taken out of, for this star, and I think the second sky cannon was too. All we can do is aim here-ish, I hope. Yeah, shoot through the wall and get the star. And once he eventually lands, we never have to go back to Womp's Fortress. Hurrah! The children have cheered. So yeah, this segment's gonna be a lot easier compared to the last one. Probably gonna be a lot more boring, so onward. We'll enter here and we'll go into Jolly Roger Bay. Although first I'm gonna check if they still kept that one up in the wall. Probably not. Probably replaced it with a void of instant death. Uh, I think this one, the one up on the left. No, he just replaced it with nothing. How original. Alright, into Jolly Roger Bay, where we get to get the first star, which is... Da -da -da -da, wander in the sunken ship again. But wait, Kaizo Trap! Yeah, we're not going into Jolly Roger Bay until after getting the metal cap, so... Yeah, this is really a second part of the level, a second part of the castle level. Alright, the most boring level ever, the Secret Aquarium. He didn't even bother to change the name. He knew no one would care in this level. The, f the four windows have a different color sky out of all of them, but that's it. There's nothing interesting about this level. He could he didn't even put any dangers in. He moved red coins to the corners of the room, and so you have like a slightly less than 1% chance of dying in this room if you can't swim at all. I mean, I guess if your A button is broken so you can only swim by hitting the B button, you have a chance of dying, but that's it. Ah, uh, I've got nothing to say here. I have no commentary whatsoever. This is the most boring level in the game. The developers must feel a great shame for having created this level. It's not fun. There's nothing to do here because there's nothing but coins and swimming. Oh yeah, he also added some plans for some reason. They have nothing in them. They're in the center where you're never going to need to touch them. He could have at least put the red coins inside the plans. Five done. Alright, yeah, we probably... We might have enough time to get a star in Cool Cool Mountain, but I don't think we're going to. Six done. And onward again. Eventually get to the coin. Seven. Oh, I cannot wait for this to end. At least it's good for practicing swimming. Ugh. Even the star looks disappointed and upset. I'm not sure, did he change the, what the stars look like? They look a little different in this version. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so glad that is over. Also, so one thing I do like, he changed one of the castle secret stars to one of Kaizo's secret stars. Clever. Although, I, I kind of wish he had named each individual secret star, although I'm not sure if you can do that with Toad's Tool. It's surprisingly limited. Alright, yeah, we're going back in here. Since we have some time left, I guess I'm gonna try and get this last star the way we were intended to. Instead of cheating our way out of it like we did. So if you're not interested in seeing me get a star we've already collected, you may as well leave now. Ah, success. Alright, so get used to seeing this happen again. Uh, I'll probably give it like two or so more minutes, then I'll give up. We might, if we don't get it by then, we'll just maybe never get it, maybe get it later segment. I mean, I think really so far I've collected everything else the way we were intended to. I got that one red coin the intentional way. I got, I even got shoot into wild blue the way we were supposed to. It's just this one star that's still left to go. And one thing I found it actually by watching the videos, we don't actually need to do a wall jump to get to the top of the uh, archway where the star is. You just need to do like a perfectly timed long jump and you can get up there, which should be a little easier. 
Okay, so we're over 15 minutes in. I probably won't have that much commentary for this part of the run, seeing as it's all stuff we've seen and done so many times already. Ah, oh, come on, Mario. Dodge the wall of flame again. Land painfully again. I could kill the Chuckies to get their coins and heal, but nah. Jump. Miss Royally. That's why I don't use a Mario cam for that part. Uh, this was actually a pretty boring segment, I've got to admit. We didn't really... Everything we did was super easy, boring, and stuff we'd already seen. Ugh. The segment where nothing happens whatsoever. No, that's gonna be the later levels where we can't even succeed in entering them for an entire segment. Yeah, that's gonna be fun, trying to enter the levels and failing. When the stars aren't even a challenge anymore. Alright, let's do this. The first one. Climbing these boxes isn't too difficult, especially after Womp's Fortress. Although we still screw up. Curse you, lag, cutting back my jump timing. I'll give it one and a half more minutes. I'll, two more tries, it gets. If I can't make it in two tries, I'll give up. Because quitters always win. I don't want to end it on a sour note, so I'm going to tell you right now, if we don't get it within those two tries, I'm just not going to show the rest of this scene. This is 1 of 26 of Game Over, signing out. Okay, so guess what? We didn't actually get the star on either of those two tries. Big surprise there. Uh, the good news is, however, we do get it on our first try here. So if you care enough to see us get the star legitimately, and you've watched through to this point already, you may as well stick around. Although I'm not going to be given much commentary at this point, because I don't expect a lot of people to watch this. So I'll be mostly silent. The only two things I'm going to really say are, uh, first of all, I was practicing the jump that we need to make at the bottom of the slide, and we're, if we try to do the wall jump like I thought we had to earlier, it's just not happening. It's a lot harder to do with the wall jump bordering on it's unnecessarily difficult. And the one time I made it with the wall jump in the past must have just been a fluke. Uh, second off, even though we climbed uh, cork boxes a lot in Womp's Fortress, getting to the top of the tower, that's no, uh, that doesn't matter at all here because these cork boxes are slippery to climb. We need to run from, like, one end straight to the other. Well, so much for not getting it with the wall jump. I guess we can do that. So much for it being a fluke if we do it twice. Uh, let's just get to the end. Get the star. And, okay. So, we just wasted uh, about a minute and a half of your life. For now, this is one of 20x6 of Game Over, signing out.